Good afternoon, Divox. Oh, let me cut out the music. So I'm really sorry. I completely missed my opening demo. Um, it worked for all my previous versions, but as you can see, my uh, device decided. Oh, it's back online. My device decided to go offline during my opening demo. And what was supposed to happen, so I did it manually, I'm sorry, that was the best part of the, the you can go out now, I'm, I'm joking. No. I was scaling pods with my brain, okay? Oh, if we go back here, we probably see it happening. Okay, there we go, okay? So we saw that my focus went above a certain level and that killed my pods and then I opened the, the slides, the browsers of my presentation with my brain. I'm glad it's going back online. Let's see how it happens. I burned uh, a Windows Vista uh, CD-ROM this morning in front of the hotel to please the demo gods, but uh, you know. Usually I use Windows Millennium, but I'm out of Windows Millennium uh, CD-ROM, so I'm using Vistas now. Uh, Wars pretty, well, not that good. Okay, anyway, uh, anyway thank you everyone. Welcome to this talk. That's the end, that's me, yeah, but I want to use myself. There we go. So, I will remove this because it's way too hot. Okay? And that was because, yeah, like Magician, um, uh, Red Devils, Belgium, you know? Uh, whoo, World Cup, we will beat you, France, again. Okay, anyway, um, access your brain with an API. Hmm, let's talk, before we talk about this device, let's talk about human computer interaction, okay? So, that's not me there, that's my father. That's me, the, the, young, the little boy there. That was in 1984, okay? I was discovering the keyboard on this really high technology French computer, Thompson MO5. And I was really impressed by it, okay? I 
was using my fingers, typing on stuff, and it was appearing on the screen. Okay, for us, it's like normal. But yeah, for me, it was really something impressive. Yeah, oh yeah. And then a few years later, I get the best computer ever, an Amstrad PC 1512. Oh my God. And there was a small thing. What's that? A mouse. Wow. I could move my hand and things were moving on the screen. I was really, really, really impressed. A few years later, okay, I came to a friend and he had a Wii. And he said, hey, Sebi, you want to play tennis? And he gave me one of those Joy-Con. I started playing. I said, wow, that's magic. Another kind of interaction. A few years later, I got my first iPhone. And there I discovered all these games that you could play with the accelerometer, with the gyrometer. Again, another way of interacting with the machine. But now let me talk about going even faster. Bypassing my hands, bypassing my arm, going straight from my brain to the computer. And you might, oh, okay, oh, sorry. <laughs> this stuff was still working, so I was calm enough to open the slides. Okay, that was part of my opening demo, sorry. Let me go back here. <laughs> um, but why should, uh, why, would we why would we love to do that? Why would we like to bypass the body and use the brain directly? So the first really serious use case is for people suffering from locked-in syndrome. By accident, by birth, they cannot move their body, nothing, not even their eyes, but their brain is completely functioning. Okay, so imagine with this kind of device, they are now able to communicate with the outside world. They can think about letters, about symbols, and yeah, that's really, really a nice use case. Okay, then for some jobs, you can constantly monitor the cognitive state of the worker. Like imagine a, a truck driver, okay, there's some danger on the road, the time that he thinks about the danger and that he transmits that to his feet to press the pedal, the brake pedal, okay, we can bypass that by directly from the brain activate the brake. Okay? There are some situations where we can use that. Then, of course, <laughs> we have gaming. Okay? Ga that's a real thing. XR, extended reality gaming. You can use your brain as an extra parameter of interaction. I saw a game, it's a fork of a Star Wars games, and basically the force from Luke, you know, with your saber, the power of your force is decided by your brain. Also think about metaverse stuff where we are with a group of other people, you could change the expression of the face based on your brain activity. And then, oh, that was a joke, I say, yeah, I have to put a slide about NFTs in this. Because brainwave, NFTs, nothing to do uh, together. <laughs> I was so wrong. I never should have Googled it. Because <laughs> it exists. You have people recording their brainwaves, turning that into NFTs and sending that on those platforms. Okay? And I'm still thinking I should, that, I should do that during my talks, record my brainwaves and make maybe an arrangement with Stefan, set up a platform and... Uh, Maybe I can earn a lot of money. Anyway, that's are the use cases. But before we talk about this device, we need to talk a bit about the brain. How does our brain work? Wow. So I will try to explain you, but keep in mind I'm a Java EE developer. Okay? And I have one minute to explain you how the brain works. So basically in your brain you have neurons. You have a lot of them. You have billions of them. And they're all interconnected. And those neurons, they produce electricity. Okay? And you might think, yeah, but how does these neurons can produce electricity? Because I ask myself this question. Because everyone knows that we produce some electricity, but how? So I did some research. And inside the neurons, which is already really small, inside the neurons, you have thousands of small pumps, let's call it so. They can pump pumps 
positive ions or negative ions, and they can create some electrical activity. And based on that, they can transmit this electrical activity to the other neurons. So it's all interconnected, and depending on what you do, so if you are watching your, your cat and you are so happy, there are some activities happening. If you walk on a Lego brick, some other electrical activities happening, but at different places. And it's pretty well good documented how our brain works. So we have here the atlas of our brain, and we can see more or less where the different parts are uh, situated. So for instance, the vision is behind here. So I thought that the vision should, would be, I don't know, in the front, but no, it's uh, somewhere behind, okay? Uh, information processing, though. So we know exactly where things are happening. So if you are sleeping, if you are looking at something, there will be more electrical activity, certain signals happening in this area. And so with this device, you can capture that. This device is not new, what it does, okay? Uh, Capting the electrical activity of your brain is something that we do now for more than 100 years. And um, what this device does is exactly the same. It has different electrodes and it captures the electrical activity. Do some processing for me, do some cleanup for me, because I'm, again, I'm a Java IE developer. I'm really bad at math. I'm really bad at signal processing. But I could do it myself, but this device is doing that for me. I have 10 captors on this device, but you have some helmets that can have way more. But 10 is way enough to capture the most important different waves that can occur in my brain. Okay? Spoiler alert, really boring slide now. Okay, so I have different types of of waves, the, uh, brain waves, uh, just to go uh, fast. Delta is usually when I'm sleeping, so if you have, you can really capture the delta uh, wave, it's probably that you are sleeping or continuous attention task, which is pretty funny. So if I'm looking at my code, at my Scala code, <laughs> or sleeping, probably the same thing, okay? Um, Theta uh, is a deep meditation state. Alpha is more like a relaxing state. Beta, that is focus. Okay, that is what I use to scale the pods. Active thinking, focus. And gamma, well, honestly, when you read the definition, uh, they even then don't really know what the gamma uh, race will do. But anyway, I can capture all those stuff. Let me go out of my slides. Let me hope my yeah, it's still online. Okay, so that is the interface because my, my device, my brain is connected to the cloud. Yes, that's so cool. Um, and I can check here my brain waves. So each of the stuff here are captors. So let me try to be a bit calm. Let me think about Scala now. <laughs> PHP. Reactive. <laughs> Let me now think I'm on the sea, thinking about my cats, my wife, my kids. Hmm. Okay, so that's one thing. Um, to be honest, I'm not a neuroscientist. I can do nothing with those numbers. It doesn't mean anything for me. Um, if I go here, I can even get the power by band. So here you can see the delta, theta, alpha, beta, what I told you. I can capture that, okay? And I, I can, yeah, what do I do with this? Uh, unless I'm a neuroscientist, okay? But this brain comes with some APIs to make it easier for me. But let's still play with this data, because there's a lot of data streaming from my brain to the device. And I'm a developer, when I think about data streaming, I think about Kafka, yeah. I say, <laughs> why not? Let's stream my brain data to Kafka, because <laughs> why not? What do we do about it? 
no idea, it's not my problem, okay? But it's a cool demo to do. So let's do it. Um, let me go to some code here. Let me go there. And basically, uh, let me show you just how I do that, uh, the interesting part here, uh, that is boring part. Here, I have a library, it's Node.js, sorry, I know, I'm also a Java developer, but it's a... Uh, I create a new instance of my library. My library connect logs into my brain, more or less, but it's cool to say that. Um, and then I can do whatever I want. And here I say, I want to capture my brain waves, powered by band. And I want to subscribe to my brain waves, and I want to capture all the alpha waves and send it to a Kafka topic called alpha, alpha, and let me do the same on beta, okay? So I have two topics, I can do Kafka streams and exciting stuff like that. Um, so I should have a Kafka, um, let me, I can close this one. I should have a local Kafka server running, where is, there are the exciting stuff. So I have a Kafka cluster running, there we go. Uh, no, where do I type cluster? Because I'm stressed. I want to type cl clear, clear, not clean, clean. It's there, and I'm going to launch first the program. So I do a node kafka.js. Awesome. My brain, oh, the demo gods are having fun with me today. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Oh, there we go. No, there we go, not at all. Um, okay, no, no problem. Uh, I, can, I can fix that. Um, I love when demo gods play with me. Uh, let me go to another stuff. Uh, Kafka, uh, apps, uh, IT, uh, Docker, com Docker Compose. Am I doing this for real? Yes. Docker Compose. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's already, oh, come on, come on, oh, already exists. Yeah, you know what? Uh, t -t -t -t. Docker to the rescue. Uh, I never had this fun with, let me stop this. Let me even delete it. And let me, yeah, and let me try again. Okay, there we go. Um, I should have my Kafka now. There we go. Uh, t -t 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 -t. No, no, I want my terminal. I send my Kafka stuff. Okay, yeah, now, now we go. Now, whoa. <laughs> Gmo gods are so impressive today. Um, anyway, why is he doing this? Why is he doing this? Let me try again, Kafka. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so imagine. <laughs> Imagine, uh, I did it so many times, it always worked. Um, I should be able to consume some of my, yeah, there's nothing happening in my Kafka here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me do it here, let me do it here. Uh, done, 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 starting creating Kafka, Kafka is running. Come on, it always worked, this demo, why? Do I have time to watch the error? Do you, is this interesting to watch together? Probably not. Okay, but imagine I should be able to, to run, uh, to send all this data of my brain to Kafka. And believe me, usually this is kind of data that I'm sending. And again, I have no idea to what to do with this, those numbers, but neuroscientists uh, should be able to, to do some stuff with this. There's some startups using this device where people can uh, work on their focus, on their meditation state, you know, they pay a ton of money per month for, for saying, hey, you're not, again, uh, not focused enough. Um, so this kind of stuff is possible. And I'm so, I, I so hope that it's just my Kafka that is not working, because anyway, I told you, those numbers do doesn't really matter, uh, mean anything for me. The good thing with this API, is once I get my Notion object, so Notion is the name of the library, I can do something like, and because I'm stressed, I'm just doing Control Z here. Wow, I type really fast. I can say, hey, look, I can check my focus rate, okay? And I can subscribe to that. And if you just take a look at the library here, I can have some um, focus, calm, awareness, never tried, that's probably something Jean-Claude Van Damme related. Um, 
Emotion, these are stuff that is not even documented in the API. So basically what I'm doing, I'm playing with calm and focus. And here I subscribe to that and I just show the, the rate of calm, of focus of my brain. So let me try and let's pray the demo gods, okay, because this one is pretty simple. I need to save. That was just to check if you were paying attention. Thank you. Okay, so that's my focus. And again, my f I think the connection is not terrible because it should spam with some numbers here. I'm pr pr pretty sure that if I go here, <laughs> my device is offline. It's awesome. I did a talk last week in Devox Morocco with some really bad Wi-Fi, but it worked the whole way long. So let me just connect it again. But here, yeah, he decided to say, hey, Sebi, it's your last talk as a Red Hat employee. Let's put all the demo gods against you. I know you all did it, all the Red Hatters. You, you all give some, some stuff to the demo gods yesterday evening. I'm so anyway, let me, let me hope it's come back to online. But the thing is, once I get that here, I get this probability here, I can do whatever I want. And my opening demo, that also filled, by the way, but uh, it was as stupid as that. Check my focus. If my focus is below this threshold, okay, then do something. Uh, you can do whatever you want. What I do, I scale pods, because why not? It's funny, okay? But you could do some more serious stuff. Um, again, let me check if we are online. Yes? Oh, yeah, look. Let's, let's try it again then. <laughs> oh, come on. oh, there we go. Look, so that's my focus. So let me focus on those numbers that I'm watching here right now. Mm. Yeah, okay. Um, keep in mind that in, I'm here in front of a lot of people. When I do the rehearsal, in my office, with my cats, I'm way more focused and way more relaxed. Um, let's try for with the calmness. That will be funny. Let's see how calm I am. Let me think about the demo gods now. Let me think about really complicated stuff that I want, don't want to think about. Well, it's going a bit down, 26. Let me run, maybe. <laughs> Two. And now you can see I was stressed because zero is not normal, and my calmness was really, really down. So anyway, you, you can do a lot of stuff. Seven minutes left. Yeah, it should be cool. Um, that is pure signal processing, okay? I get some electrical activity, it's turned into waves, it's wrapped for me into some uh, methods here, calm, focus, okay, I can do cool stuff. But that's not all you can do with this device. Let's go back to the slides for a few seconds. Okay, there's something else that you can do. It's called motor imagery. That's also really documented, it's peer reviewed uh, in scientific papers, etc. is the, f the fact that when you think about making a gesture or thinking about biting a lemon or thinking about your tongue, it activates some patterns in your brain. And so what you can do, you can train this machine, this device for those thoughts. So basically, you are doing some deep learning. You say, I'm thinking about this stuff, and then I think about nothing. I think about this stuff, I think about nothing. So I have two labels, and I can do some machine learning. Okay? And then after that, again, with the API, you can scan for that thought, and when the, the probability is high enough, it will, um, well, you, you are able to go in the, in the callback. So how does it work? And that will be funny with my stress right now, but let's see how it goes. Let me go to my console. I'm still connected. Yay! Um, I can go to training, and I can add a new training, for instance. So I can select here an intent, and 
I can jump in jacks, maybe not. Biting, that's what I did at DevOx France. Let's do it again because it's funny. Biting a lemon. So I'm going to train just for a few, a few for one minute. Me biting, thinking about biting in a lemon and then doing nothing, okay? So let's go. Oh my God, let's try again. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to do, because if you want a good training, you have to do this 30 times and it will be really boring for you. Um, but for me, it's really difficult because when you have to rest, you don't, ha you, don't, you don't want to think about biting a lemon. But I don't know you, but I'm always thinking about everything. Uh, so when I think about not biting the lemon, I'm thinking about biting the lemon, and the opposite is true. So um, I I'm, too, I'm not calm enough to do this kind of stuff. Okay? It's really complicated. But I managed to do one, uh, hopefully, and but I don't expect anything spectacular regarding the demo gods, how powerful they are today. Um, I trained this morning something called tongue, so thinking about my tongue, okay? And I will just print out the probability that I'm thinking about my tongue. Kinesis, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there we go. thinking about my tongue. I swear I'm thinking about my tongue. Am I still connected? I'm still connected. Hmm, hmm. Three minutes left, okay. Okay, I think the demo guys decided to really, really have everything that I had in stock. You get the thing. I'm, I'm still trying out my more risky demo <laughs> because of why not, eh? There are three minutes left. Um, <laughs> and the last one is, I got, am I in the good folder? Yes. Um, I have a small game. First, I was planning to do you a really cool game with uh, using the Unreal Engine. And, and yeah, it was taking a bit too more time. So I'm, I'm just doing a small JavaScript game demo. It's not even a game, yeah. Um, it's, you will see an island with cannons, okay? And I will focus on the cannons and I'll shoot, blow some cannonballs. Whew. But again, <laughs> let's see what happens. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, there we go, training. Focus again. Okay, this worked, surprisingly. <laughs> that was my closing demo, but I, I just realized I forgot to show you something. Um, it's a Java conference, so that is no GS. You might think I'm locked in into this uh, service here. Uh, not. Absolutely not. This brain uh, device can send data in a pretty standard way. And there's a project, an open source project called BrainFlow, okay? Um, and they are open source and they provide libraries to process all the data from your brain, okay? And um, there are different implementations available, okay? As you can see, you can do it in, uh, in Julia, in uh, R, Python, Rust, and Java, okay? And you can do it in Java. Well, basically the guys that are working on this library are not Java developers, I think, but um, st <laughs> still you can play with it. 
Be aware, it's really high, uh, no, really low level. It's just there to apply some filters. It doesn't do cool stuff like here, where you can have the calmness and the focusness. I'm done. Um, just a few words. Yeah, let me, because I forgot that. Let me introduce myself. My name is Sébastien Blanc. I'm a developer advocate. Uh, this week is my last week at Reddit, so it's quite emotional for me to be here. Um, I'm half French, half Dutch. That's why I have this exciting accent. Um, I'm here the whole week, so if you want other demos, and hopefully it will work better with the connection, uh, I'm here. I can also speak about other serious stuff like Kubernetes, Quarkus, whatever you want. It was an honor to be here. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.